Concatenation is a fancy word for adding strings together. I've created a Visual Basic application, and I have a text box here named TXT Name, another one named TXT Campus, a button called BTN Sign In, and then there's a label here that we're going to use for output called LDL Output. What I want to have happen is when I click the Sign In button, I want to have some output in the label down here that basically welcomes John Doe to South Mountain Community College. So let's take a look at the code for the button. So in the event procedure for the BTN sign in click event, I have two variables that I've declared as data type string, my name and my campus. And then I'm going to place the value that's in the text property of the txt name text box into my name. And I'll do the same thing for the text property of txt campus, placing that in the variable my campus. And then our output is where I'm concatenating these strings together. So lbl output.txt equals, and I have a literal string here of hey, comma, space. And then you'll see there's an ampersand. This is the concatenation operator. So we place this between two strings to add them together, just like we would place a plus sign between two numbers to add them together. So to the string of hey, comma, space, I'm going to concatenate the value of my name. And then I'm going to take that and concatenate with another ampersand, a literal string of ampersand, space, welcome to, and a space, and I put the space after the two so that the campus name doesn't run up against the word two. We want a space between that, or we'll end up with one word of two south. So I'm going to concatenate again using the ampersand, where the value is of my campus, and then I thought I'd add a period to the end of it to make it a complete sentence. So another ampersand, and then a literal string of a period. So we actually have five things being concatenated together here. A literal string, a variable, a string variable, another literal string, in quotes, another variable, which is a string, and another literal string. Let's watch this work. So I've got a name of John Doe in the name text box, South Mountain Community College in the campus text box. I'm going to click the sign in button. And down here in the label, we see, hey, John Doe, welcome to South Mountain Community College. It's added all those values together using the values from our text boxes and placing those in an output string. I could use the same thing in a message box. So we could say message box dot show, and then for my prompt, I'm going to take this concatenated value. That's my prompt. I'm going to place a comma and add a title. We'll set a title of welcome. Make sure I get no squigglies. Sometimes it's easy to forget to put a, an ampersand or a concatenation operator. Um, if, and if I did that, notice I get a squiggly. And you have to kind of go back and figure out, okay, where is that missing? All right, so let's test this. I'm going to click Sign In. So it's changing the label, but it's also giving me this message box with the exact same prompt. Now there's another way to do this, and sometimes it's easier to build a prompt string or a string variable that can contain your concatenated values. So I'm going to add another variable up here called prompt, and then I'm going to add a value to prompt of hey exclamation or comma space quote. And then we'll do prompt ampersand equals, that's that unary, that unary operator. So we're going to concatenate to where the value of prompt is my name. And I could, if I wanted, 
concatenate more values here. So I might say my name and then a little string of exclamation welcome to I'll put a space after the two close my little string with another quote I'm going to do another concatenation this one I'll do a little bit differently just to demonstrate that you can use the text properties rather than a text variable I didn't need to create those variables. I could have said txt campus dot text. And I'll go ahead and add another prompt here. Again, we could concatenate on the same line. Well, I'll go ahead and just add my period. So now I have four statements that are building that prompt string. And I'm simply going to change my LBL output to display the prompt variable. And in my message box, our prompt will be the prompt variable. Let's test this again. Click the sign in button. There's our output label, and there's our message box using the prompt variable instead of that concatenated string directly.